what is going on everybody i hope you're all having a fantastic day so far uh i figured you know since the review and everybody who has joined the channel recently i figured i'd give you my five likes you know the typical five things that i personally as an og owner of the car enjoy about the srt4 so first and foremost if you own an srt4 this one thing everyone should like and that's this I'm killing these from cash get baby you get the bag and fumble it I get the bag and flip it and tumble it straight out the lot 300 cash and the car came with a blood in it look mama a dot and she got and she gon' pop a bag pull up to the spot living too fast dropping the double the stash in Italy got too far they deal me that's right the sound system guys the sound system on these cars is pretty awesome off the factory setup right i have i have zero upgrades to the system i'm still using the factory speakers this doesn't even have the kicker sound system that you can get as an option on the car this is just the basic regular one and Putting the bass all the way up, man, this thing's got some good enough bass, good enough sound. I don't even need a damn subwoofer in the back. Unless you want that extra oomph in your music, but other than that, man, the sound system on these cars are pretty damn spot on. I think, I think I'm almost due from front speakers though, cause you know, 13 years of uh, having the bass all the way up. It's starting to affect the sound quality on the front, but other than that, it's spot on. I highly recommend you just leave it alone, focus on power if that's what you want. Uh, let's see, that's number one. Number two, the second thing you should love about your SRT4, and that's... Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. That's right, the sound. You can't hate on that sound. Let me, Let me put a clip of how that sounds like when you're going full throttle and you have that nice backfire in the between shifting gears. Ready? Are you ready for that? Hold on, roll the clip. Man, the sun is like in my face, killing me right now, but whatever, we'll, we'll deal with this later. Anyways, that's number two. Number three, I love these seats. These seats right here, I love the fact these things right here hug you. I'm a small guy, so it's easy for me. I know if you're a bigger frame than I am, these seats tend to get really annoying until you break them in. But, you know, I'm one, I'm six, what, 
one, six, two, around there. 170 ish. And it's perfect. I still have a little room, but other than that, it hugs me. Turn right. Oh. Oh. You know? It keeps me where I need to be. So I love these seats, man. And these don't only come on the ACR, they actually will come on your uh, non ACR edition. It just won't have the uh, the harness here. So this won't be there unless they put it aftermarket. And obviously it won't have the ACR logo. But it's the same exact seat. You can always get the harness put in uh, later on. So that's number three. We got two more. Man, what else do I like about this? I know. I know what else I like about this car. Ready? I'm gonna have to change your position here real quick, guys. So this car, you have the ability, instead of having your uh, three A-pillar gauge pod here, I personally dislike them, just because I wanna be able to see where I'm going and having gauges here, I feel will get annoying. But instead of doing that, you can read up the how-to and actually do the uh, three gauge conversion here if you wanted to. I currently just have two. Typically the boost gauge sits right here. But I went ahead and flipped them around. Put the boost gauge over here. Put my AM wide band over here. It broke off. I gotta fix that. But I still got room for one more up here. Uh, but for now, this is pretty much all I need. I don't need anything else right now. I can get by with that. Uh, so yeah. I enjoy the ability to be able to do that on this car. That's number four. You guys are ready for the fifth one? Some people may not agree with me. Some people may agree with me. All depends how long you've had your SRT. So, the fifth one is simple, guys. The reliability of this car has been on point. Now, I typically always had at least two cars on my fleet, so I was always able to switch between the two if I needed to. But overall, man, the SRT, the Neon, whatever the hell you want to call it, doesn't matter to me. But the Neon here, the SRT, has been the most reliable car. Other than the times that I went over the video with David. And what else? I can't remember when else this car broke on me. Oh, and when the axle. And actually, it didn't even leave me stranded. I heard it happening, so you started hearing that clicking sound from the axles when you're driving. So I just bought a new one and changed it. So it technically never let me strand it. It just warned me that, hey, you might want to change my axle before I break on you. So that's what I did. But, man, that's my, that's my top five, guys. Very simple. The radio. The sound system on the car factory is pretty damn good. The sound the car makes, I love it. Obnoxious, but I still love it. The seats, my bad. The seats on the car, I love the seats, they're very comfy. Number four, the ability to put my gauges here in front of me, away out of sight. You know, it leaves any like people from being able to see it right off the bat on the pillars. I like the subtle look out here. And then five, the reliability. I know people are going to hate the fact that I'm saying this, but these cars are reliable as long as you maintain them. Any car you have should be reliable as long as you maintain it. If you know the history of the car, if you had a Mickey Mouse owner back in the days, then chances are your car is going to break down on you all the time. But if you knew the previous owner or you are like an OG owner, and you took care of your cars, you're gonna see any car is freaking reliable. There's SRTs out there that have, I hope you guys are not blurry. Oh, I really made you blurry now. Anyways, there's SRTs out there that have 300,000 miles, 200,000 miles, and they're fine, you know? You do the upkeep, every now and then you gotta change some parts because that's just normal wear and tear, and they're fine. They don't leave their owner stranded. So, to me, Reliability is the last one, guys. Another thing that I liked also that I didn't mention, because it's whatever to me, and it, you kind of, eh, it all depends how you look at it. 
the modding aspect of it, right? At first, these cars are very easy to modify. Now that the car is getting older, parts are getting a little more expensive on the cars, obviously, because the market is not as popular as it once was. So I'm starting to notice a lot more of the parts that were available back, say, you know, 10 years ago are slowly getting either more expensive, obviously, because the demand is not as is not there as it used to be. Um, but also some parts are not even available anymore. So that's kind of like the sucky part of things. But I guess that's something that you uh, have to deal with when you own older vehicles. Not even the dealership can get me parts for my car. Like the sunroof right here. I have a sunroof. They're notorious for leaking, which we'll go over that in another video. But they're notorious for leaking and I can't even get one. The dealership discontinued a sunroof that fits five years worth of neons regular neon srts acrs whatever the hell you have they're all the same crap but they discontinue the glass how are you gonna discontinue the glass that you know sucks and people are gonna want more that doesn't make sense dodge get your stuff together all right well anyways that's it for this video those are the five things i like guys radio Seats, sound, availability here when it comes to my gauge cluster, and reliability. And that is all, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you all have a good day. Good night. Uh, probably drop a video tomorrow. I don't know yet. Let's get us to 500 subscribers, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to do a small giveaway at 500. Hope you're all excited for that. I'm sure everybody's going to like it as long as you own a car. If you don't own a car, you can still use it on your mama's car. It don't matter. You're going to like it. See you. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.